Well, hey there, YouTube. It's Petey Two Finger, and today we're here to talk about fake IC chips. Now, uh, looking at this image, can you tell which is the fake NE5532 IC chip? Now, the NE5532 is a pretty good op amp for audio. It sounds good. Like, uh, they put this chip in a lot of the Chinese boards that are sold on eBay, like the uh, preamp, the equalizer board, will come with the NE5532 built in. And what you'll find is they're not authentic chips. They're, they're fakes, they're artificials. So taking a look at the chip on the left, we see a, a logo that's a Texas Instruments logo uh, it's supposed to be a T and an I, and then the shape of uh, the state of Texas is what it's supposed to be. And you can see that the legit chip, uh, the logo, it actually kind of does resemble the state of Texas more than that blob. I mean, really, when you when you when you look at the 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 top. It's like kind of pitted. There's like a chunk missing. It almost looks like so, uh, someone had a snack. Uh, there, uh, the other difference is that there's the half moon cutout on the chip on the right, which is the imposter. The fake chip is on the right. The real TI chip is on the left. So I always talk about this. My joke is, oh my goodness, the uh, the logo, the Texas Instruments logo, does not resemble Texas. It looks more like Long Island or Puerto Rico, is my little joke. So what can you do? Well, order your NE5532 chips from a reputable supplier. And by that, I mean DigiKey, Mauser, Small Bear. Uh, if they're, if they're, if they're, uh, I'm not sure what, what the status of small beer is. I know that the guy retired and sold that business to some synthesizer uh, website or corporation. Uh, I like to buy my NE5532 from Tata Electronics, but people claim that they, they give out fakes. Now, uh, one, there's another video you can look up where the guy said on the input of the NE5032, or uh, on, in between pins two and three is a diode bridge, or there's two uh, diodes facing opposite directions, and if you test your, with your meter, you should be able to detect that those diodes in there, whereas the artificial chip does not have that in there. So that's a for real, for real way to test these chips. And you know what? I'm going to be testing. Uh, forgive me for uh, coming empty-handed with this. Uh, and you know what? I can do it right now. Do you guys mind? It won't take very long. I've got my meter out, and I've got chips here. So let me turn my uh, diode test on. He said between two and three. Okay, I got... Oh, look at that. Look at that. I, I set my I set my multimeter to the diode test. And uh, what you do is you test between pins two and three, and then you reverse the polarity uh, of your uh, test per test meters. You flip flop them. And what I showed was a reading of 0.681. And that's just telling me the voltage drop of the diode. There is, in fact, a diode. Uh, in between pins and two and three. There's actually two of them, and they're reading the same uh, uh, voltage drop. Now, when I put my meter in between pins two and three of the imposter chip on the right, I did, didn't get any reading at all, which is telling me my hunch is correct. 
the IC chips on the left, the uh, Texas Instruments, the purchase, the uh, any 5532 that I purchased from Tata is actually what it's supposed to be, an NE5532. Now, that's not to say everything that you buy from Tata is going to be an original. I've heard people complaining about fakes from them. My experience has been pretty good with them. That uh, uh, they, they all, I, I don't ever remember getting anything that was phony from Tata. Um, And, you know, people like to, they, they some people, it's diff, more easy, it's, you know, they, they'll, they'll blame the company before they will come out and say, well, it was me. I was uh, on PCP when I put this pedal together, and uh, the, the reason I ate my foot was because of Tata. Uh, anyway, I, uh, today, my preamp board that I've been waiting on came in. I removed the R1 and R5, which were SMT, and then they had soldered over the, they give you through hole slots. They had soldered over those. Come on, guys. So I removed the, the dual potentiometer, removed those SMT resistors, installed a pair of 100K resistors to set the gain at maximum. Ran two sets of triple wires to a set of 10K potentiometers instead of the single dual potentiometer for the master volume control. So now I have independent volume controls for my right and left channel because I, I, uh, I'm having a balance problem and I need one channel to run a little hotter than the other. Anyway, uh, through this process, I tried, I auditioned both the NE5532 from Tata and the OP. 2134, which is a Burr Brown cork sniffer, $4 op amp IC. I got to tell you, I really like the way that the NE5532 sound. They sound really good. But the Burr Brown op amp has a little bit more definition in the high end. It just sounds a little better. It, it sounds different. It sounds different. Uh, is it worth the eight bucks? Well, you know, then it's with stuff like this. It, is it worth it to you? Is it worth it knowing that you built yourself a headphone amp and it's got the really great IC in it? You know, and to me, yeah. Uh, on the other hand, if you were going to uh, build this on a budget and you wanted to save yourself ten bucks, you're never really going to be able to tell very much. I'd, I would say just go with the NE5532 if you were uh, interested in saving a little bit of money. But that being said, if you're interested in uh, uh, a headphone amp for your own, like if you listen to a lot of music and you'd like to have yourself a little headphone amp, you can get them on uh, eBay China. Uh, I could build one for you. So contact me if you're interested in something like that. I'd love to do it. Uh, probably cost between uh, probably around 75 bucks to 100 with the shipping and all that uh, but what you'd be getting would be uh, you know significantly uh, it'd be handmade and it looks cool it looks like a home homemade more of a homemade device I will be doing a video on the finished product um, I've got these speakers I'm trying to sell and somebody bit on one of the pairs of speakers so I may take that money and just turn it around and purchase myself another set of headphones uh, and then that way I could give my wife the Evos, the white Evos. She commented on how, uh, how soft velvety and soft they are and they are really good sounding headphones. They just uh, don't have that ear piercing. They're not treble cannons. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, consider that, like I said, if you love music, uh, get yourself a headphone amp. Uh, there's different ways I can do it. They have a, a, a simple board uh, uh, or a more expensive board where you can actually put your own op amps in it. Um, and different sizes like I have one that runs on batteries you know so if that's something you'd be interested in 
keep in mind these uh, things tend to they go in between like you'll you'll have your mp3 player your source and you take that and uh, plug it into this thing and then your high quality or high like some headphones need an amp the better headphones you get you'll need an amp to push them so that's something to consider is uh, do you need it or do you have a good pair of headphones or are you interested in getting into that but uh, I love there is nothing better than listening to music with headphones I will take headphones over speaker any day and having an amp is so awesome so with that I'm gonna leave you guys uh, thank you for joining me take care of yourselves if you have a pet give them a hug and peace.